for Blaney. What does it mean to you to see how far he's come? Well, man, he is a uh, he's a hard worker. Um, one of the things that I saw Blaney do that really um, was really nice to see early in his career was um, when NASCAR and the sport would come to him or any driver and say, "Hey, we need you to do this. Could you do this for us?" It's a you know it's a day trip somewhere to be on a sitcom or or promote the sport, right? Where and it, and it's it's an all, it's on one of your off days, right? It's you got it's you know you get very rarely get free time, and and you and it, it's hard to say yes because uh, you know you've you've banked on having that free time, but he was always willing to do it. He always said yes. Um, that's that's unique, and I can I can appreciate that. I think that was what had me most excited about him. The most excited about him winning this championship was how well he would promote the sport doing it. Um, as he is taken around in New York and all these other places, and tonight and, and all the media that he's done this week, he'll do it eagerly and um, with 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 some energy and excitement, which will be great for us. We're in a really really good place as a sport, announced coming off to the momentum of announcing our TV partners for our future and all of the great momentum that the sport has. Uh, he would he would be he would be a very good champion for us, and so I feel like. That, that's a good fortune for NASCAR that he did win this year and excited to see him get his big check tonight and um, and and what will this do for him drive you know as a driver going forward the confidence and all how how this will make him feel inside the race car it could change his trajectory if you will as a driver and his success and the wins could be more frequent we'll just have to see something you retweeted. When, when your dad accepted the uh, Winston Cup championship in 1990, he apparently had broken his right hand because yeah. he kicked the guy's ass for <laughs> Yeah. Do you remember that? I do. That story? I remember when he came home uh, from from that night and he he broke this bone on the on the side of his hand um, from his wrist to his pinky. And that thing was stick the bone was almost sticking through the skin and um, and he he's like uh, he drove home and he walks in the house and he said and Teresa's like you know what's going on he's like I think I broke my hand he sh we saw it and he's like yeah I'm, she's like I'm pretty sure it's broke he's like yeah I think it is too so he goes and gets a cast put on it and he knew he was going to the banquet and so he he they were smart enough I guess to to get a black <laughs> cast made to match the tux right uh, and so um, he a guy. Um, a guy had been working on his property on a tractor or something like that, right, in the afternoon, and he saw some deer um, and then went home or went to a bar, went somewhere, got to talking to a friend. They thought it would be a good idea to go out there and shoot that deer. So they came and jumped the fence, or they shot the deer through the fence, then jumped the fence. The deer, Dad was on the property with his property manager, and the deer ran by them and, and f fell down. So dad and the property manager hid in the woods until the people, the guys came that had the gun and dad just chased after the one with the gun and, uh, and, held, and kept him there for the police to come. But apparently he punched him a few times. And so um, I remember that, I do know that Richard Childers has the cast. Richard Childers has this unit of storage where there's a bunch of cool things and the cast is in there, I believe. Punching the man that, pu that shot the deer. Yeah. What up? It's Brad Perez. Uh, click subscribe and watch one of the two videos right beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.